Now we'll take you through some of the most common types of text you can add to your score, including lyrics. And we'll show you how to add chords too. When you're first creating a project, you can press the Next button down here, which takes you to a section where you can enter the title of the score, the composer or arranger, the subtitle, and any lyricist or copyright information. By pressing Done, you can see that the information you filled in is already positioned on your score. If you've already created a score and want to add this information later, you can quickly do this using the Add button and selecting one of the options in Text. Lyrics can also be added this way. First, select a note or rest, go back to the Add button and select Lyrics. This now adds a lyric text item under your note. You can do this more quickly by using the shortcut Control L on Windows or Command L on a Mac. When adding lyrics, you can press the space bar to move to the next note to continue entering your text. If you want to create a hyphen between words or syllables, press the hyphen key, which also moves you to the next note. If you want to create an extender line, you can enter an underscore by using the shortcut Shift hyphen. So now that I've entered a few lyrics, I want to copy and paste them a few bars later. To do this, hold the Shift key and drag with your mouse to select all the lyrics. Then copy them and select another note and press Paste. If you want to set an elision that connects two syllables under one note, then open the Properties panel, select the Special Characters button and choose from one of the three elision options found in the Common Symbols window. Lastly, to set chords on your score, select a note or rest, click the Add button and choose Chord Symbol. To do this quickly, use the shortcut Ctrl K on Windows or Command K on a Mac. When entering your chords, you can again press spacebar to quickly move to the next duration. Chord symbols also cleverly recognise different characters. For example, you can press uppercase B followed by lowercase B to create a B-flat symbol. Here, I'm entering D hashtag 07 to create a D-sharp half-diminished seventh chord. And here, I'm entering F hashtag lowercase m 7 bracket lowercase b 5 bracket to produce an F sharp minor 7 flat 5 symbol. For more information on different kinds of text you can enter on your score, check out our online handbook, which is linked in the description. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get updates about new releases or additional tutorials.